All right, YouTube, it is finally time for me to give you guys a nice garage gym tour. I'm gonna show you guys how I've been working out for the last year during this pandemic. Haven't been to the gym in a year, only getting it in the garage. Now, I didn't get all this stuff at once. Over the last year, I've been increasing the equipment, increasing the accessories, and just getting things every now and then when I see fit. It's all about a budget. You can't just jump out there and spend $20,000 just because you feel like it. And if you can, kudos to you. Now, believe me when I tell you, working out at home is not the best for motivation purposes, right? Not all of us want to wake up, walk downstairs, go to our garage and get it in. Some of us get the thrill of just going to the actual gym, which is me. So motivation has not always been at its all time high, but to fix that, I just made sure that I made my garage feel like I'm at the gym. So that's why I'm continuously improving it, trying to make it the gym scene. So in today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and explain a few of the items that I have. I'm gonna give you some prices as well. And you might wanna go get some of this for yourself. You don't need a lot of equipment when you're at home working out, build muscle to get stronger, to get shredded, but you do need a few things. So I'm gonna go ahead and link everything down low in the description box and you can go ahead and try these items out for yourself. I also have already given a few product reviews on some of the equipment that I already have. So feel free to check that out as well. But without further ado, do. Let's get right into the tour. All right, first up, we have the most important thing at home for a bodybuilder like myself. Maybe not for everyone else, but I love a nice barbell. Now, although over the last year, I have not been using barbells as much, I did have to go get this as soon as the pandemic hit last March. All right, so this barbell set right here, just the barbell and the weight, 300 pounds. I got it from Dick's. Not a bad bar. This barbell does spin a little bit, but it's not as bad. I actually started the pandemic with only this barbell. I was doing everything on the floor from floor press, obviously squats, shoulder press. 135 was pretty much all I was using, but I did have 300 pounds. So I was getting it in and that was for a few months. That's all I had was the barbell and 300 pounds. Now, next up, I had to make sure that I got a squat rack, a decent squat rack that would allow me to get some pull-ups in and also put the bar on the rack and load it up. So I can do squats, bench press, again, shoulder press, and I wouldn't have a problem because I can just pull the weight off the rack just like I'm in a gym very important this squat rack actually came with a bench I got it from Dick's as well so both of these items the barbell and the whole squat rack $250 from Dick's now $500 that's pretty cheap so you get what you pay for so a few problems I see with the squat rack height when I'm doing pull-ups my feet always hit the ground so I got to keep a bend in my knees not always ideal especially when I'm trying to load up weight but it's okay it's doable another problem is the squat rack actually only holds 300 pounds so if I want to put 300 115 pounds on this bar I don't think my squat rack will hold it now another issue I came across is the seat yes I did put this together and I'm pretty good at putting things together based off of instructions screwed in but it got a little wiggle on the seat I don't really come into too many problems with this but it does have a little wiggle and it's not as sturdy as some of the gym equipment that you find in at the gym but again $500 for all of this I'm taking it the barbell came with two clamps clutch need clamps and we also have a nice store space where we can store all our weights on both sides you can mount the squat rack down five hundred dollars for a squat rack bench and 300 pounds of weights with a nice barbell clutch this is the best thing that i own in my home gym all right next up let's talk about this bow flex right here this bow flex is pretty much resistance bands you'll notice the resistance bands here on the back 50 pound strand 30 pound 20 10 and two fives so actually a lot of weight on here but resistance bands that's what bow flex is all about now what you can do you can do a lot of back movements you can do a lot of chest movements because you can adjust the seat the seat will move you can load up and do some legs I actually got this Bowflex when I used to live in Texas a few years ago. I got it for $20. You will not find a Bowflex like this for $20. I'm not even sure what it's marked up at, but I'll put it on the screen right here. Of course, the links are down below. I got it on an app called OfferUp. I think some wife was trying to get it out of her garage because her husband wasn't using it. How often do I use it? Pretty much never. All right, so right here I have a body trainer. This right here I got for $80 back in Texas as well. A pregnant lady was giving this up also on the app called OfferUp. She did not want it anymore, she didn't have any use, and she actually just purchased it. So I got it pretty much, had all tags on it, and it's worth a little bit more than $80. It did me wonder, this was the only thing I had for cardio. It's a good, nice elliptical and also a bike. So I can just strap some poles right here in the front, use it as an elliptical, but I normally just use it as a bike, and I was using it for a warm up, riding a bike for five 
five to 10 minutes before or even after the workout and it was doing me wonders. So this is all I have for cardio, but I hardly use it now and I'll show you why. Check this baby out right here. Just got it. This is the Nordic Track, super sturdy. I put this together myself. Didn't take too long. If you don't have a treadmill at your home, you need to go ahead and get you one. Cardio on the treadmill is everything. Now don't get me wrong, I am a Stairmaster guy. In the gym, all I was using was a Stairmaster. When I'm getting ready for shows, when I'm just trying to stay lean, Stairmaster is the way to go. For me, you burn the most calories walking up those stairs and it will tear you down. But if you don't have a Stairmaster, a treadmill on an incline, walking, running, you can get it in. So that's why I say I recommend a treadmill. I actually just got this and I've been leaning this all through the pandemic, but I didn't have it, but I have it now. And she is pretty. I'm actually gonna turn it on and show you how it works. All right, let me show you how clutch this is all right so you can see i had it for a little while and i've been getting it in they have trainers on here so of course i had to pay for an ifit subscription but because i bought the treadmill for however much it was i put that on the screen it came with one year free all kind of trainers so you can slide it over you can do all kind of workouts taking you all over the world see my man's right here he went to kenya it'll show you how long it'll take the workout it'll also tell you the distance calories you'll burn super clutch you can run get trained 10 percent incline all the way up to 10 miles per hour good track super good quality and i've been using this every day since i got it the treadmill is my favorite piece of equipment as of right now. Cardio to me is one of the best things you can do for yourself. If you wanna get lean, obviously you're not gonna build muscle, but during this pandemic right now, although we're trying to build muscle, we're also trying to keep that fat off. So you gotta get your cardio in, and if you could just walk on the treadmill, that is clutch, especially when it's cold outside. Now, if it's not cold outside, yes, I encourage you to get up off the couch, walk around the neighborhood or something like that. I'm out here in Maryland, and it has been 30, 40 degrees every day, all day and there's no way I'm going outside in freezing cold trying to get some cardio in. But anyways, for this gym tour, we're gonna go ahead and wrap things up with the accessories and the smaller equipment that are obviously clutch and a lot cheaper. All right, y'all, let's get into it. All right, so I pretty much have all the equipment, all the little accessories I have all over this nice square right here. This is actually where I get majority of my workouts in. And if you've been following me on this channel, you have seen a lot of the workouts and you've noticed that I have not always had this type of setup. I need to get more floor pieces. These are the Renew floor pieces. They're legit, they're okay. I mean, I can drop weight on here pretty good. They're nice and thick. The only thing wrong with them is that they are a little bit slippery. So if I have socks on, I'm sliding a little bit. I actually slide a little bit with my sneakers on. I got them for a legit price over at TJ Maxx. I think they actually have them at Marshalls as well and I can't find them anywhere else, obviously online. So I'll go ahead and link down below. And like I said, I need to get more because I actually want to spread it all around the entire gym, the garage gym. But anyway, first up, I have some push-up bars. These are one of the pieces of equipment that I think everyone could own. They're cheap. I did get mine for free, but I'll show you down below where I got it from. This is Fit Beast. They went ahead and sent me these. Uh, they're pretty legit. Obviously, you know what push-up bars are for, but if you don't, they help you get a nice, deeper squeeze in your pecs. That's what you want when you're doing your push-ups. So they come in handy every now and then. And I also came with a good old ab roller. Definitely important for the core. I know you don't need an ab roller, but if we're talking about improving your core and just getting better overall, you can use the ab roller. Again, if you have a home gym or if you're just at home working out, small equipment like these are gonna help you take your physique to the next level. Also right here, I have the foam roller. Definitely good for recovery. You can even foam roll before your workout. Maybe five minutes, not too much. You don't want to loosen up your body too much with that type of stretching. I take a more dynamic approach when it comes to stretching and getting warm before the workout. So I like to walk on the treadmill, loosen up, get the mobility right. But again, I use foam rolling for post-workout. I just want to relax, stretch my muscles out and get ready for that recovery phase. All right, so on this side, I have a nice exercise ball right here. The exercise ball is okay. I used to use it a lot. I don't really use it at all anymore. I'm a bodybuilder. Let's keep it a buck. I like to lift weights, pick them up, put them down. So I don't do a lot of the exercise ball stuff, but I do have one because before I had all this equipment, that's what I was using. Good for the core. You can do a lot of exercises with it. I don't want anybody to think that you can't, but again, as far as how I train, I just don't use it. And right here I have 35 pound dumbbells. I actually had one 35 pound back in Texas. My wife bought it for me on maybe Valentine's Day or something like that. She knows I like weights. So I went ahead and got another 35 pound dumbbell. So now I have a nice pair. The only problem is I got two different brands. I would not recommend getting different brands when it comes to getting your dumbbells. Problem is, I think this Ignite brand right here is just a little bit lighter than what it 
actually says, or maybe this brand dumbbell right here, which is the cat dumbbell, is a little heavier than what it says. Either way, I have to continue to switch arms with using these dumbbells just to make sure there's no muscle imbalances. I have some wrist wraps. We all know what the wrist wraps are for. If you have these weak wrists, like myself, you gotta strap these on when you're pushing your weight just to make sure that your wrists stay locked in, locked in place. I actually had these for a while. These are the Gas brand. I actually won these at a competition that I got first place in. It came with some wrist wraps. I have some straps right here. These are good for stretching, for building glutes, like the girls say, and all this other stuff like that. So this is actually your skills brand. They're not the best, only because when you're wearing them, they fold and ravel and all that. They're just not the best. I actually ripped one. I had a yellow one, which was lighter. I was too strong for it. I kind of ripped it apart. That could tell you a lot about these. So these right here are some Pace Earth wrist straps right here. So these are for your barbells. When you're doing, let's say, barbell rolls, deadlifts, and things like that, you want to go ahead and lock your wrist in just to make sure that your grip doesn't fail. A lot of times your grip fails, but you can still rip out some more. This strap will actually lock you into the barbell. So this is for the folks out there going super heavy. I have a elbow sleeve from a weak elbow. I have this recovery gun, which is super clutch when we're talking about recovery. I actually did a product review on this, so y'all can go ahead and check this out. But this right here is really some good deep tissue that you can do at home by yourself. I definitely do this every single day post-workout or actually before workout when I wake up and I'm just trying to get my body loose. I have some fat grips right here. I did a product review on these as well. So with these fat grits, they're going to help you recruit more fibers when you actually attach these to, let's say, a barbell or a dumbbell. They actually have different sizes. This right here is not the right size for my dumbbell or barbell, so it might leave it a little open like this, but it still does the justice. But notice how if you gripped a dumbbell, you grip it like this, but with this fat grip, you have to grip it a little wider. And so you're going to use way more fibers in your forearms, and it just helps you get a nice, better squeeze on the bicep or I guess whatever muscle group you're training, wherever you put these fat grips. These are my new babies right here. I got some 50 pound dumbbells right here. Just got these in, got to work. So 50 pounds, obviously not a lot, but I've only been training with 30 pound dumbbells. So you can imagine the difference. And then I also have a 20 pound dumbbell right here in the middle, which obviously that's what I've been using. So it's pretty much all the equipment I have. I have a nice belt strap right here. One of the latch ones. I actually won that at a competition as well. So a lot of this stuff is going to be linked down below, but understand I did not purchase it. With that being said, my home gym cost me a little bit less than everything that you see inside of it. All right, Extract the Fitness team, I have one more thing to show you. So like and subscribe, let's get right into it. Look at that. No, I'm not talking about the bike or the lawnmower. I got the stack right there, there's all my supplements and I got a nice refrigerator. Shout out to my little sis, she actually hooked me up with this refrigerator right here from her college dorm. She didn't need it anymore, she graduated. But this is all my supplements right here. Y'all already know where the link is at. I'm all about Cellular Core Extend. So I have all of the products that I use on a daily basis. I love BCAAs. I actually made a product review about this meal energy. No, it's not Cellular Core or Extend. Got my protein right there, pre workout out and I also have the creatine right there. So that's pretty much what I'm stacking right now. Then if we open up this fridge, you will see, yes, I have some beer in here, but no, this is not part of working out. What I have is some protein in here. I love Core Power. I like Fair Life. They're legit. 42 grams of protein in these babies right here. I could pop these in real quick post-workout, even pre-workout, tell you the truth. Have some energy drinks right there. Those are the C4 energy drinks. I definitely recommend you go grab you some of these. These serve purposes. When I'm talking about pre-workout, if you don't actually you want to consume the powder you can just start drinking on your c4 energy and get right to it I have other energy drinks right here i do a lot of sugar-free energy drinks right here coke zero obviously I have some nice airport bottle liquors don't worry about those y'all know how i get it in and that's what we're working with oh yeah before we go over here i just made this right here over my anniversary weekend with my wife work hard dream big thought it'd be a nice little put together right here I have my speakers right here for the music i won't turn it on now no copyright i have a tv but there's no way i'm watching tv while i'm working out so I actually don't even have it plugged up. Got some trophies from my competitions right here. This is the third place, this is the first place. This is actually my first competition ever in 2014. On the wall here, I have a lot of resistance bands that I will link down below. These right here are one of my favorites. A company actually sent me these. So with these resistance bands, they actually have a door anchor on them where you can lock it into a door and really get it in. So with these resistance bands, I already performed a workout and I posted it on YouTube. So y'all go ahead and check that out as well. 
Pittsburgh Steelers, y'all know what time it is. First place right here at a competition. These are first place as well. This is Johnny O. Jackson, I did it twice. Went ahead and locked in some first place trophies. More resistance bands. These resistance bands are a little bit different. As you see, no handle on these. I'll go ahead and link these down below. I got them from Amazon. And I have this belt right here, where I actually got from Amazon as well, I believe. And it's actually legit. This is when you want to put that weight on and do some pull-ups. So definitely legit. I definitely recommend that type of attachment right there. All right, YouTube, that is it for the garage gym. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I encourage you to pick up some of these items. Disclaimer, yes, for a few of these items that you see down below, they are affiliate links. So you will be helping out the channel, helping me out, helping me and the family out. If you do purchase anything, click on the links and do your thing. But you'll also be helping yourself out, doing yourself a big favor, getting in with some good equipment. So again, if you're not yet back in the gym due to the pandemic, go ahead and lace up your home, get your nice gym going, and just keep getting to work. On this channel, we're all about muscle building, strength building, and getting lean and home gyms are where we're gonna do it at. So we're gonna keep grinding, keep pushing it out. I appreciate you guys for rocking with me. And with that being said, I'm gonna catch you in the next one.